Motor Authority. Here's meteorologist Athena Massif, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Reaching up to a high of 105 degrees today. That does it. Two full weeks of triple digit temperatures, and we could expect another week on the way. Currently in downtown San Angelo, 93 degrees. The heat continues to remain. Dew point starting to rise a bit, 57 degrees at this time. Feeling more like we're at 95, 96 for this time of the night. Those winds approaching from the south at seven miles per hour. Across the Concho Valley, all of us are mostly in the 90s little bit of a relief from those triple digits. 90 degrees in Sterling City as well as Robert Lee. And then outwards towards our west, not doing too bad. Ozona and Big Lake at 88 degrees. El Dorado and Sonora at 91 for this hour. Heat advisories are in place not only for most of the state of Texas, but all the way out extending towards the panhandle of Florida. We were even tracking some heat warnings in Oklahoma. We could see some of those even push into the Concho Valley during the next few days. Right now, for most of our area, under a heat advisory in effect until tomorrow at 7 p.m. And the past few days, these have been extended. So expect a very similar repeat all the way from Monday and into next week. Texas satellite and radar watching a trough of low pressure just to our west. Lots of rain being delivered to the four corners, but this will play a little bit, a little big role in our in our future in the next coming days as a cold front will be moving down from the north and it could interact with this trough. So let's play this out by Tuesday around 2.30 a.m. Very weak cold pressure will be moving in and as it does and it interacts interacts with this trough of low pressure, it starts to bend it and even push it a little bit towards the east. So right over the Concho Valley. Now don't get your hopes up because this is a very weak front, but we could see some isolated showers and thunderstorms popping up across the Concho Valley Tuesday night, overnight into Wednesday. And then once Wednesday comes along, as that low pressure moves off to the east, you will start to see this trough push back to the west, leaving us once again high and dry. But don't get your hopes up for a little bit of relief because temperatures still forecasted to be into the triple digits for this whole week. We should be at 96 for this time of the year, rising up to 106 for your Monday and Tuesday, 103 Wednesday and into Thursday. Your forecast for tonight is going to be a very warm night, 77 degrees, breezy at times, and then tomorrow, once again, 105 degrees. That heat advisory is still in effect. Dangerous heat conditions. Looking at your seven-day forecast, plenty of sunshine. Slight 10% chance of showers as that cold front moves in Tuesday night into Wednesday. But we are still keeping a very close eye on if we could even get a few showers out of that. And for this day in weather history, in 1980, Hurricane Allen came ashore near Brownsville, Texas, dropping over 20 inches of rain, spawning 29 tornadoes, and killing a total of 269 people. And Allen holds the record for the strongest wind speeds for an Atlantic hurricane, clocked at 190 miles per hour. We will have more after the break.